everyone, Jackie Dane here, and welcome to the Circuit of the Americas. Now, I would love to give you a tour of our car and everything before the event starts, but we can't. We're locked out of the garage. Session begins very soon, and we just can't get to our cars right now, so... Uh, I hope that gets sorted in a little bit. Okay, we're finally in the garage. We're actually right before session number one. Uh, Alex and I are co-driving the TA90 V2 new this shirts. weekend. Yeah, new shirts, actually, guys. Get those shirts, uh, button below spec 155. Advertisement over. We're going to be co-driving the TA90 this weekend. Um, lots to go through. The brakes need testing, the tires need testing, uh, aero needs testing, the handling balance needs testing. There's a lot of things going on, and we're going to just rapid fire those two, you know, get out because and I had to get Alex as a co-driver because otherwise I can't afford to come to the event of myself it's so expensive lots of things happening very excited for the weekend and uh can't wait to take you guys along for it let's do this Alex let's go for a class win one of the new things we have this weekend after our visit to AMS not apart from their engine cover is the AMS carbon intake look at that the logo and everything is just properly properly quality this is technically a beta prototype uh, but let them know in the comments how much you like this because this stuff is sweet. This is so good. Uh, carbon intake arm into turbo too. Um, so this thing gave us about an extra 10 horsepower boost at the very least. The car is still under tuned. We haven't pushed it to the max at all because uh, racetrack is supposed to be a reliable trim. So everybody is lined up over there. Alex is about to get jumping in the car. We're starting in group two, uh, bottom of group two. So just being safe. The car is definitely faster than that. Taking it easy. Got to test out the brakes. Got to test out everything else and figure out from there. Alex went for a test run and the splitter just kind of detached. Alex, how was it? What happened? Uh, so as soon as it gets to 120 on the back straight, yeah. I can hear the front splitters like just, you know, shaking and Do stuff. One of those, yeah. Yeah, and also uh, under heavy braking, I can hear front end scra uh, scraping the floor. So I just, you know, take, took it easy, just make sure power works up to about 110. It did? It did. Partial throttle? Still a little bit. I had to like uh, through the carousel, like exit carousel, we're margin and throttle out. It, it had like a one small hiccup, just one. Okay. But it wasn't going that hard because it was scraping. Yeah, okay. It's the actual mount itself. Oh, like the mount ripped down. Oh, wow. Alex says the car, this car will be faster than his, and he, his I ran know. at 226. I know. It will be faster for sure. Easy. Like, easy. easy. Well, we fixed the splitter. Space fixed it. Thank you. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. You, the universal Jackie Dean stand uh, test. Jackie Dean. If this breaks, it ain't gonna hold up for much longer. They should let me do the catch. Yeah, all right. Who, who's the next heavier one? Can we show this off? Yeah, let's see. Yeah. Who's the next? Jackie, what do you think? My prediction: twenty-two. That quick? Yes. Oh my I really God. drove it, so I kind of have a feeling about it. I'm, I I don't know. I feel like twenty-three is a very tall order, but I haven't driven this car yet. Now Alex just hyped me up, so let's go. Then we're gonna go test next session. Try to steal off the front bumper a little bit better because right now like the way this is sitting on the lip sometimes once you get pulled and it gets stuck underneath the lip it, it it gets more easy to get pulled down so once we seal that off it's gonna help it stay um, uh, remain in place a little bit better low 20s low 20s here actually, we go actually just an idea yeah. should we take the end plate off for now make sure everything like the flat plate holds first and then put the end plate on if we need more so just to be safe you don't think so you don't oh, think so, so. it looks better with it on so okay. yeah it looks way better with it that's that's the decision here it looks good i already I already told him if it breaks he's not having dinner until he fixes it yeah i can't eat i'm not allowed to eat no food for me. New cars. Arrow tapes. Arrow tapes. These all the tapes are all where the downfall is at. As you guys know, uh, last time at Button Willow, we had a battery issue with the e diff shutting off and everything. Uh, we linked that to the anti gravity battery being a little bit too small, and we got a new battery from anti gravity still. This is the H6, it's a little bit bigger, 68H, about like 10 pounds heavier than the old one but it is double the capacity. Even if it does, we have the stock battery, we can always put it back. It's about a 40 pounds different. I think the trend is developing. We just grab whoever we can that come to an event with us and make them our pretty much slave. I like to work. Thanks for <laughs> doing this, Ross. This is what I do. He's our newest team member, Ross, by the way. Everybody. How you doing? <laughs> Ross has a third track background um, and he's very good at this. So, thank God.
T90 is actually quick. Yes. Uh, we just ran a 24-7, I think, 2-24-7, which would have put us third in street class by, well, the top number one is a 23 or 22, or a 24. So there's still a bit of time to be found, and really is. You saw the lap, it's meh. Uh, I was pretty gingerly on the brakes. Uh, we're gonna take it a little easy. Quite a few mods happening. First, Spade is gonna start taking off the normal fender and putting on our carbon set. New tires going on, 275-40-18s versus 295-35-18s. Uh, these big boys are going on. It's a decent chunk that we're gaining in terms of grip. Every con every little bit of contact patch definitely helps and it's also a new wheels by Titan 7. You, you remember, we had the uh, demo spec, 18 by 10 and a half plus 40. These are the new production spec, 18 by 10.7 plus 38 basically the wider nature means you can fit a wider tire such as this 295 onto this wheel so much better uh there's a little less stretch as well so there's likely a couple of tenth just in the tires itself and then you factor in a little bit for aero we're trimming out the rear wing as well i think the rear wing was a little bit a little bit op so the car's getting a little draggy on the front straight on the back straight leveling it out you know start we still have a little bit of adjustment to go we can lower it about two more degrees so if we cross our fingers and i tell you this very lightly we might have a chance of winning. We might. Let's go for it. One of the non-sponsors of the pro of the show, but something that we really like to use, are the Milwaukee tools. We have their new cutoff wheel. That is Mikey's new favorite tool. Uh, we can use it to be my new favorite tool too. Yeah, right. We can use it to cut off literally anything. We're going to trim the carbon a little bit just to make sure it clears that uh, part of the frame. As much as I want to cut the frame, the guy said no. But we do have a vacuum cleaner also, so that's going to suck up all the carbon and stuff, so we don't get poisoned. Anybody want a carbon part? The Meaty 295s are fitted. That's my hand. I might have a small hand, but like, that's huge. Um, going to swap on the rears also. Uh, Alex is going to take the car out for the next session. Uh, we did the carbon fenders. This is a prototype, so some of the fitment are a little bit tricky. We had to trim some and uh, duct tape the rest up. And this should give us a decent boost in uh, drag reduction. They're emptying out all the pressure that's vented up behind the front wheels. So that's sick. We have a front upper fender vent and this one down here. So the extraction is going to be cool. Sorry to Titan 7, Abach, SPL, and Reinhardt. Uh, we're going to try and salvage these stickers for that, but we're a little short on time. Just know I love you too. Just please know it. Please know I love you. New front end unveil. We might do something about the color, but... Oh my god. This front end just got even wilder. And this car just got even faster. You legend. We fixed it like no niggles. A little bit. And then it will be... A little bit of work to be done for the production pieces, but... A little bit, but... It's looking very together, eh? It's not too bad. Alex just get done with his session in the TA90. I'm gonna leave it to him and have him explain to you exactly how he feel because I think it's quite something. I wish I could just say come and drive the thing and then you'll understand. It's nuts. Sector one, like all the high speed thing, it's faster than my STI on a hundred treadwear when tires are hot with this on Outlap. I had a Subaru for like 10 years and this thing's like, I love my, I still love my car, but this thing's like next level. Nobody's right? driving this. Yeah. Oh, Way yeah, too why? much. But <laughs> oh, you want to see? Carbon, 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 carbon. That's like 10, 15 grand of carbon fiber right there. So last session when Alex went out, it threw a code. Yes. And we're all trying to figure out what code it is. So we're all gathering around the magical tablet. Ooh. Two code, four code, engine control module, two code. ABS down to eight. Hey, it was 20. It was 20. This is significantly better um, than I'm, last time. I'm kind of, wait, when did we swap the battery? Before I went Just out? Now. Oh, low pressure fuel system. Oh. That must be what pulled the power that, that's why that, That's why it pulled power. Like, I, like, I, think, I, I think my feeling was that. Fuel pressure. It wasn't even, did we put fuel in it? It's half. Fuel system, delivery rate for full load, too low. Low pressure fuel system, electric fuel pump pressure too low. Okay, I gotta send these two to, two codes to AMS right now.
Obviously, a little bit upset. Hard to not be. Uh, but, okay, our, our mistake. Rule is a rule. Um, and we broke it. So. Welcome to day two. Tricky part yesterday is that the car got disqualified. Uh, bit of a shame, but it's okay. It's time attack. It just means we lost our time. It doesn't mean we lost our car. The only bit we lost is we lost just a bit of splitter in fencing. Uh, the splitter, like the 3D element that generates, that basically collects the air. That part we lost. We can still generate the vo uh, vortex down the end. We just lost the little collector bit. So honestly, all things considered, it's not that bad. Um, so we lost the time. We did a 224.1, which would have placed us second in street overall behind the blown up Subaru of, uh, that was driven by Ryan Shims. So now we're bottom last because we don't have a time. This is a brand new day, brand new morning. So look at the track, it's awesome. We're gonna give it our all. I think we have the pace to win. I think we really have the pace to win, and I want to do this for the AMS, do it for Titan 7, do it for the boys, everybody who's at the back, you know, working so hard on the car. and. Uh, Kind of just down to me at this point. One good lap. I want to do it. I want to do a 222. The car's got it. It's got so much pace in it. Let's do it. Let's go do it. A couple more changes we have to do the car. Um, yesterday we were getting an issue where the electric fuel pump got a code where it says uh, it's not receiving enough pre uh, enough voltage, and I think that's what caused low pressure on the fuel side and tri they're triggered a safety mode. So we've reluctantly taken out the battery and put another 40 pounds in the car. 40 pounds is 40 pounds, but horsepower is horsepower. So I'd rather have the engine working properly than uh, the risk blowing up an engine because we put in a small battery that BMWs have a very complicated thing with the alternator where like they shut off for efficiency and so on. So maybe like aftermarket battery just can't take that currently. For drag speed, drag straight run, fine. It's okay, 15 seconds, 10, eight, you know, whatever. But for, for what we're doing here, we're trying to run five minutes flat out, you know, it just, I tried with lightweight battery and I'm gonna try to work with the guys anti-gravity to try and work something out.
Scanner! 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 Okay. We got more. Fucking did it. You did. Thank you, Ross. No problem. Good job, buddy. Awesome. Let's have a good lunch. I don't know what else to say other than, well, we fucking knocked it out of the park. Sorry, everybody can go home. It's nice. It's nice to be able to have a car that's just so, shall we say dominant? Is that the right word? That's the right word. That's the right it's word. It's clearly the right word. Clearly. Um, not to sound cocky or anything, because we've been at the lowest of lows. <laughs> I'm here at 3 you can't not listen to it. We've been to the lowest of lows. We've crashed one, for God's sake. Like, this is my highest of highs. I'm absolutely loving life right now. I'm not filming anything because I frankly don't have anything to share other than it's fucking perfect. And you guys don't want to see me happy, I know that. So, there's no point. Life is good, life is good. Um, this barbecue. is- Barbecue. Yeah, barbecue later, we're gonna party tonight. Staying cool, staying calm. Uh, we still have a final lap session, basically like a super lap. We got the whole Coda Circuit of the Americas to ourselves to go for one last hot, hot lap. And we're gonna try and get into the 21s with that. Uh, if not, 20, low 22.5 we have is already 
very much satisfied my soul. This is a redemption for Button Willow. We didn't get into the 50s. I wanted a 22. We came here and did a 22.5. So what else is there to say other than we've built a monster like Alex says. It's just good, isn't it? On side note, we are kind of matching like TZR time around here already. Well, the goal with the TA90 obviously was to try and build a Supra that can match GT4 times. Now, GT4 is still quite a bit quicker than TCRs. I think around here they were doing what, two? Five seconds. Five seconds. Yeah. So it is a big gap, big delta for us to try and find. But, you know, this is the first start. This is the second event of the car and we're like getting that close. So imagine what an upgraded turbo will do. All right, AMS, start cranking up the power. <laughs> We will soon see if he was able to go a little bit faster than his current unofficial overall street record. Jackie Ding clocking in a 222.836. That's going to be just three tenths of a second slower than his current fastest lap time. I tried. I tried. I know. I know. It's still great. Um, does that break my smell? Yeah, that's great. Yeah, no. Uh, Use them. Well but, used. Quite a bit sketchy in the break. Here's the live stream camera. Uh, it's fun. We tried our best. Uh, 22 something? 22 8. It's alright. What, what was our fastest? 22 5. 22 not 5. I Proof think. Scar is not a one shot wonder. Do it multiple times. Hell yeah. Let's go get some champagne going. I know. Spade, if we make carpet doors, can I still stand on it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one, go! Fuck! Oh, fuck. <laughs> this red car. Oh my god! This is act. Look at that! Oh my god! <laughs> yes, hi. Pro Pot, first place gets um, oh, this smaller watch and then the enthusiast first place gets the other smaller watch. All right, guys? I missed the entire thing. Say it again. Oh, for sure. Not now. Not now. your tears. Don't cry. Not, not premature again. I know, I know. Not again. You know, we're fucking at the F1 track on the fucking actual F1 on the F on the same carpet that Lewis Hamilton like dominated year on year on year. Honestly, this is just amazing. This whole journey, TA90. This is the second event. This is just awesome. I can't wait for good life. Can't wait for the season. We're gonna do some big things. Let's go. Show them the best year we can ever. There's still there's still a lot of things that I want to do to the car. Oh yeah, this is just the start. Yeah, this is. Two. There's still a lot of things yeah. we can do to the car. Second it just event. needs more time. Second event. We got, we got time. We got a whole season in front of us. Yeah. Proud of you. We can do this. I don't gotta pay for track cleanup fee. <laughs> how, how do you how do you define this moment? I don't know how to start this because this is like dream come true. F1 circuit, top of the podium. I mean, how do you get better than that? And I know this is not F1. This is not Formula car. This is not. This is nothing crazy, yo. This is time attack. This is a bunch of grassroots people building whatever they can do, and then coming out here and having a blast. And I know this is for enjoyment. This is not for competition. Roger Penske isn't gonna pick me up tomorrow, but. No one means the world to me. Speedrunning was for me the lowest of lows. You, you don't get any lower than that. You, you do stupid things and you mess up a car and you, you know, it's, it's done. Like suddenly the journey's at the end and to have a second chance to say, hey, we can build something still amazing. 
and to come out here and show just how dominant we were it's truly stuff of dreams like just Alex was just telling us about like you know like all the all the hours we spent on the road all the all the difficulties we had trying to put the car together all the all of those I mean it's eight hours from Toronto to Chicago we did it like four times five times already in the last four months and it's just hours and hours on the road no sleeping trying tired trying to get everything ready begging for help asking for sponsors it 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 blows up and all builds to a moment that of success and this is it I can't thank all the sponsor enough TF AMS PhD everybody at the team over there Spade Sport ABOC Spreinhardt Titan 7 Motorsport Hardware SPL C17 I'm looking because I can't remember anything my head is just spinning I know this is supposed to just be media you know like oh I'm giving them coverage oh I'm like giving them you know social media status but these guys give me actual support in time for me I have SPL guys coming up to me helping me out AMS has been on this for like on the diner for 12 hours trying to get this thing ready for this event TF not knock times out of their work table just to let this car in to get it all ready I mean I the stuff the list goes on and on and on I can't thank them enough this one's for you thank you thank you thank you thank you I might cry a lot tonight I'm not gonna cry on camera because I don't think I, I I got a little bit over it it's sinking in we did something amazing and guess what oh it's only gonna get more amazing from here I hope that you'll join me for further adventures in the future. A lot will be failures. There's still a lot of failure points right now we'll be facing in the a lot of challenges in the future that we'll be happy to face. But I hope you'll join me for the victories and the failures. Thank you all very much for watching. And um, we just won freaking super lap battle coda. See you all next time. Doesn't get better than this.